Before anything, Super Mario Odyssey is not getting delayed. Hey, what's up you guys? Mr. Awesome here and welcome to the channel. And, well, it's that time of year again. What time of year? Not Christmas. E3, which is like a gamer's Christmas. Which, nowadays as time gets, as, as I grow older, I find more exciting than the actual part of Christmas because family's so far away, you don't get presents anymore, but E3 is a bombshell of presents and I'm very excited. Yes, there's many leaks and rumors and Congrats to the BitBlock for fooling all of us into believing those Smash leaks. But without further ado, here is my E3 2017 Nintendo Spotlight predictions. Ignore the phone out there. I live in a building. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> my first prediction is Breath of the Wild DLC. Now, I'm playing it safe with this one. Why? Because Breath of the Wild is an amazing game. If you finished it, Spoilers. Wait, before I think spoilers, if you haven't finished Breath of the Wild, spoilers. The ending is pretty lackluster. So, there's that. So I feel like DLC would expand more, and I feel like they kind of made you expect more of the game. So, I feel like DLC is a better way to expand on the story, add more costumes, which they announced. And more, you know, more awesome stuff. So, they, Nintendo has already said DLC for this year and I believe we're gonna get more information on it, um, a release date and more features on what these two packs will entitle, which I didn't pre-order. Now, my second prediction for this E3 is uh, more Super Mario Odyssey information. Why? Because Super Mario Odyssey is like the main focus for Nintendo this year. Much like how last year was Breath of the Wild focus, this year's Super Mario Odyssey focus and hopefully, like, well, I... <coughs> and well, they, they have to drop a release date, right, Nintendo? Nintendo, you, you guys have to drop a release date. I need it, okay? I need it. Okay, now, moving along, I believe, you know, we sort of got confirmation on the Nintendo Online thing, like, about the games, the virtual games, the retro games. But I do believe that we're going to get more virtual console information. Why? Because we're all eager. We're, all these rumors, ever since like the Switch name started, you know, circulating around around the web, we've been hearing GameCube, GameCube, GameCube. We need the GameCube. We didn't get it for the Wii U. And Iwata, may your soul rest in peace. You promised us this. You promised us GameCube for the Wii U. Granted, you can play GameCube on your Wii U. Yes, if you. If you hack it, but other than that, I feel like an official emulator from Nintendo in the Switch would make GameCube amazing, an amazing thing. So we need more virtual console information. I want more information about the online. We need information, but to be completely honest, having the Switch is, is pretty cool because like you get to play a game like, for example, Super Mario Sunshine on the go. Like, Officially, it's never done that. If you guys are on an Android phone, you can download your Dolphin emulator, but officially, you can't play Super Mario Sunshine on the go. Now, you know, granted, you need analog triggers, but that's a debate for another video. But yeah, still, it'd be pretty cool having virtual console games, especially for games that haven't been released in over, what, 10 years? There's a whole new generation out there, Nintendo. Cater to them. <sighs> Moving on to everyone's favorite part of E3 is gonna be the Mario X Rabbids crossover thingamajig game. Sadly and happily, it got leaked, so we already have information, but regardless, we're gonna get a trailer from them. At first I was like, you know what, Ubisoft might announce in their E3, because you know, they're, they're, they do E3s as well. But I'm like, I think this is more of a Nintendo thing, so I think we're gonna get a trailer and a Ubisoft rep <clears throat> talking about like how the game works and stuff I barely pay attention to the game like even when once once they got leaked I was like hey this looks not that bad to be honest I want to see gameplay is it gonna be like the Mario Luigi series or is it gonna be like a whole new entity who knows if this does good we might even get what everyone wants 
sequels. Speaking of Mario and Luigi, we're gonna get that remake, Super Star Saga. What was it called? Okay. Oh yeah, Super Star Saga DX or something with another game back then. <clears throat> That's gonna get announced. That sadly got leaked by by an eShop linker. Leaker. Link. Wait, what? I can't even speak. Sorry guys, I'm sick. Um that sadly got leaked on the eShop, but we're gonna get it. I'm so excited. I wanted to stream Mario Luigi for the longest now, but seeing as this news might drop, and it's sadly gonna be for the 3DS, I hope not. I hope it's for the Switch. But sadly, this is the first Mario remake in years. So like, I'm very excited. I love the Mario Luigi series. It's my favorite series ever. So it's exciting. Hopefully they don't use the Dream Team style of graphics. Hopefully they, they remix the old one, the old Superstar Saga graphics, like the sprites, into like a modern age. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, please Nintendo, please let this be real. Again, speaking about graphics, improvements and stuff, a Super Smash Brothers port. Now, you guys can hate me, but I don't want a Smash Brothers for the Switch just yet. Why? I want to let Smash 4 for the Wii U live a little bit longer. It's one, Smash 4 for the Wii U is like, the sole reason why the Wii U is still connected besides me playing Mario Kart 8 with you guys but like it's the sole reason why I still turn on the Wii U and if Smash 4 gets ported to the Switch this early I guess fuck the Wii U at this point but from the looks of it everyone wants a Smash port now so I guess Nintendo might might want to capitalize on the idea I, I kind of don't want it I, pers I personally prefer the new Smash Brothers game? Why? Because I'm, I'm a fucking asshole. I just want to live the hype again. The hype for- I felt more hype for Brawl than Smash 4, so I- I, I don't know, Smash 4 felt empty to me, because Miiverse wasn't all that great, but Brawl had it better with the dojo, but I, I kind of wish, like, Nintendo- since Miiverse is gone, I just want Smash 4. I'm always so greedy with these Smash predictions. I, always, I want Smash 4 to, like, Smash 4 for the Switch. Just be a whole new Smash game, but this is a predictions video, so I'm just gonna say flat out, there's gonna be a Smash 4 port. Again, I don't mind. I, I just want them to be new characters, not no clones, not no pink gold peach and gold Mario type of shit. I want my Shrek and Smash, but other than that, I don't think a Smash 4 port wouldn't be that bad. It's just, just too early. It's too early. But hey, maybe we could get a subspace or something. Moving along, Pokemon Stars. Okay, so this Pokemon Stars everyone's been talking about. I've seen a lot of people be like, yo, I want it for the Switch, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to disagree. I think if they, if they were to announce a new Pokemon game, like main Pokemon game, not in like Pokemon Stadium or Revolution or Pokemon Tournament, I feel like a main Pokemon game isn't ready for the, the new generation. I feel like a game like Pokemon Stars if it is if, if it's fucking called Pokemon Stars, I feel like a game like Pokemon Stars should just be a game that's for the Nintendo 3DS. Why? Because I don't. It doesn't feel right. It, it'll be Pokemon Sun and Moon in a whole new graphical power. It's like a new powerful hardware, but I feel like that that'd be better suited for the next generation of Pokemon, like a whole new generation with a whole new Pokemon. I feel like that would be better suited. We've never seen a remake, uh, a game from the same generation be released on a new console. Like, we never seen, for example, Pokemon Platinum on the 3DS. It was on the DS, granted the 3DS did not exist at the time. But yeah, I, this is like another prediction, but it isn't for E3. I feel like it's later on, Diamond and Pearl. That might be announced this year, but not for the Switch, for the 3DS. Because again, I feel like Nintendo should still focus on the 3DS, they're still releasing games, they're releasing the 2DS, the 2DS needs that push. So, Pokemon Stars or Pokemon Super Mega Diamond and Super Mega Pearl, or whatever they decide to call it, Shiny Pearl, I feel like it needs to come to the 3DS. The 3DS needs that last hurrah because it's an amazing console and it just needs it. <sighs> Moving along, Pikmin 4. Nintendo announced it, they're practically done I believe, 
And, well, we're gonna get it for the Switch, just like how we got Pikmin 3 for the Wii U. It'll be great. It'll be my first Pikmin game. I wanted to buy Pikmin 3, but I think I'll hold out for Pikmin 4. Seems like a good idea. We're gonna get more information on that Pikmin 3DS game or something. But I think we're gonna be more focused on Pikmin 4. Yo, this year's gonna have a lot of heavy hitters. I I'm believing. <clears throat> I'm not the Simpsons predicting everything, but I I I'm a believer. And finally, Retro Studios. Yo, they've been quiet for years for a very long time. Come on, Retro. You guys have must be working on the beautiful game. I'm at a loss of words. It might be Metroid. It might be, because we got Tropical Freeze a couple years back. <clears throat> that Retro has to be working on something. That I've heard multiple people say it, but they have to be working on something, you get me? They have to be. So, it isn't fair if we've been waiting for years, basically. What, what was Tropical Freeze? 2014? We're in 2017. That's three years. You know how many of these past E3s have all been Retro's gonna announce something? Well, I think now's the time. The Switch is out. The Switch needs games that aren't ports, and now is like the golden time. Will it be a Metroid? God, I hope so. I've never played a Metro, Metroid 3D game ever. Besides Prime, I played Prime a little bit, but I don't count this first 10 seconds. Donkey Kong, we, we can give that a break. Metroid, yes. Let's focus on that. That'd be a pretty good idea. <clears throat> and with that, thanks for watching this video. This is weird. This is a whole new camera angle. Looking at this part of the room is weird. Um... I hope you guys enjoy the video. I haven't done an E3 predictions video since 2014. I'm sorry these predictions seem biased and a little unscripted. I'm trying to do more unscripted stuff. It feels more fun. I'll get used to it over time. Um, if you're new, consider live stream. <laughs> consider subscribing. I live stream almost every single night. Um. Yeah. Until next time, you guys stay golden and don't believe the E3 rumors. I. Don't believe anything you see E3 related, unless it's like by the official company. Until next time you guys, stay golden. Bye.